Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to use proxies with Python requests. So a proxy is basically a gateway through which the request passes through, changing its IP. This is really useful for stuff like web scraping or brute forcing. So first off, make sure you have installed requests using pip install requests and also import them. Now we will have a list of the proxies. So this list uh, will have the following format. So it will be HTTP two dots slash slash. And here we will have IP two dots port. So you can get uh, proxies from almost anywhere. You can find free proxies anywhere, or you can buy proxies if you want to make sure they will work. So I found uh, a free site, this free proxies link in the description, which uh, just gives you free proxies. They're not all the best, but they do work. So if you want to get them from here, just make sure to search by uh, HTTPS, so filter, and just also click uptime here. So we get those with a higher uptime. So now just pick out some random proxies, let's say this one. So you can see IP here, two dots, and then this is the port. So let's say, I'll just pick three. So this one, let's say this one as well. So it has to be HTTP, the IP, two dots and then port and then let's say this one now uh, we will test if these uh, proxies work so to test if they work we can send a request to an api uh, which shows us our ip so this is one of those apis so if you go to this link it just shows you your ip uh you can use any api you want to test if the, if these work and let's just make a for loop so for each proxy in our list we will test it out by making a request a get request to this uh api and we will print the ip afterwards to see if it actually changed so here after the url we have to put in proxies equals and this is the important part we have to put in a uh, brackets https and then https will be our proxy so this is just telling us that telling the request that we want an https proxy and this is going to be the proxy so it will first take this one then this one then this one so now let's print the r.txt so the ip so now if you run this we should get three ips printed uh in the console so as you can see the first two worked pretty fast but the third one is taking some more time so this is a problem with free proxies some of them may be really slow some of them can be okay um so if you want to get actual solid proxies you kind of need to buy them so anyway you can use this for pretty much anything we will now be applying proxies to a simple brute forcer so this simple brute forcer i have a tutorial on it it should pop up in the corner right now uh, if you don't want to follow along, you can just copy all the code from GitHub from the description. So uh, we will be using these proxies here. You can use whatever proxies you want. I made a simple uh, Flask website, which is just a login page. It has a username and a password. The username is admin, password is 1-2, and you can log in. If you log in, it says success. If, if you fail, it says wrong password. So just make sure here you changed if wrong password is in our dot text uh then it will be incorrect so make sure you have this and another important thing is the request is post not get and other than that uh the brute forcer should work so now let's use proxy so here in the send request when we make the request let's add a random proxy so proxies will be uh brackets HTTPS, two dots, and here random.choice proxies. So it will pick a random proxy to use. So now if we run this, as you can see, it eventually found the correct password. If you also want to try this, uh, this is the link to the uh, simple Flask page I made. You can also find it in the description. So yep, it found the correct password. And yeah, this is it. This is uh, how you can use proxies. Uh, yeah, these free proxies do sometimes throw errors and stuff. So if you really are serious about using proxies, I recommend you find a place to buy them. 
so that you make you know they will 100% work. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and see you later.